Hi guys, welcome to Rithi Defined. My name is Saro. I hope you guys are safe during the pandemic of COVID-19 and following recommended precautions. Respect the frontline workers, stay at home and stay safe. Well, this video is about 3D printing support structures and how it works. As you saw on our previous video where we printed the hull and it had support structures. If you haven't seen the hull video, click on this i button. So what are support structures exactly? As we use a MDM 3D printer which works on the principle of deposition of material layer by layer, here new layer is supported by a layer beneath it. So if a model has an overhang or which is not supported by anything below, you need to add an additional support structures to ensure a successful print. On one hand, they are absolutely necessary for models which has overhangs or bridges. And where are these support structures used? They are used when a model contains some overhang and bridging. But not all overhang or bridging requires support structure to be printed successfully. For example, let's print some alphabetic letter Y, H and D. Let's start with H. As we have printed H in various bridge sizes with and without support for 10 mm and smaller, it does not make much a difference if you add a support structure or not. But for more than that, it matters. For instance, we have printed H with a 10 mm bridge and it is noticeably straight and does not show any visible signs of slagging. Whereas, if you observe for the edge with bridge sizes of 25, 35 and 50, you can observe that the slag increases and the bridge length increases. The slag here is noticeable, but only if observed closely, a student's printer do a good job solving that issue, but the slag do exist. In these cases, support structure is required for its aesthetic value and not necessary for its structural integrity. But, as you increase the length, the slag will be bigger and will need support structures not for only aesthetic reason but also for its structural integrity. Because in case of long bridge length, the nozzle has to travel a long distance which will not provide any immediate support or stability to the extruded filament which will cause it to slack. Improper prints where there are any meeting parts will be an issue while assembling. Now let's go to overhang. For this, we have printed the letter T with and without any support structures. When printed with support, it comes out clean without any spaghetti. You may be wondering what's a spaghetti? The spaghetti is a common term for the tangled mess of stringy plastic that's often a result of failed print. But when the D is printed without any support, it has quite a lot of spaghetti and does not look aesthetically pleasing. Also, its structural integrity gets compromised. Now coming to printing on angles, for this we have printed the letter Y, which is twin arm with varying angles measured with respect to vertical axis. The angles we have printed with are 45, 65 and 75 degree. In the case of 45 degree, the surface came out really well and does not require any support structure. As we know, any object is printed layer by layer and each layer needs a base to support. Increasing the angle will reduce the surface area for above layer. And as the angle increases, each layer printed creates an overhang and even adding any support structure would not help. So in this case, we need to decrease the layer height to reduce the overhang which will give a better print. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of a support structure? Well, the surface quality of the model remains good and printing is mostly successful. And now for the disadvantage, the model cost is increased by the extra time and material used. Also added post-processing work. 3D printing support structures are not part of the model. They are used as support parts of the model during printing. This means that once printing is over, you have now the additional touch to remove the support structure before the model is ready to go. Also, there is a risk of damaging the model. 3D printing support structures often touch or stick to the wall of the 3D printed model. This is the only way to provide support to overhang and bridges. If you are not careful while removing these support structures, they might leave blemishes on the model surface. In the worst case, the part of the model may break off along with the 3D printing support structure. Well, I hope you guys have understood the concept of support structures as it is very useful in 3D printing. Thank you for watching, stay safe and keep printing.